Today is December 1st. Pastor saying to us, The Inner Sanctuary. Our opening scripture comes in the book of Proverbs chapter 20, verse 27. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. In the Old Testament, God gave Israel the tabernacle, which he divided into three parts. The first was the inner sanctuary, where the ark of God was. It was also called the Holy of Holies, or the Most Holy Place. The second part was the outer sanctuary, which was called the Holy Place. The third part of the tabernacle was the outer court, where the brazen altar and laver were. This tabernacle of Moses gives us the picture of the human person, the spirit, soul, and body. Man's body is the outer court, the soul is the first sanctuary, the soul is the first sanctuary, while the spirit is the inner sanctuary. The Holy Spirit resides in the inner sanctuary, which is the recreated human spirit. When a man is born again, his spirit is recreated. Eternal life is imparted to his spirit, and right away, the ark of God is set up there. What was in the ark in the Old Testament? It was a word of God, written on two tablets of stone. 1 Kings chapter 8 verse 9 and 2 Chronicles chapter 5 verse 10. Where is the word of God today? It's in our hearts, our spirits. The Lord said, This is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 10. No wonder Paul said, we are the words of Christ written by the Spirit, not on tables of stone, but in fleshly tables of the heart. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 3. This shows us the importance of the human spirit. That's where the Word of God is today. That's where God lives. Being born again is the recreation of the inward man, the human spirit, to become God's dwelling place, His holy tabernacle. The premium, therefore, must be on the education of your spirit, which is only achievable by receiving and meditating on the Word of God. Please say this confession with me. My spirit is God's dwelling place, where He lives in His glory and majesty. I carry God's divine presence in my heart and impact my world with the blessings of my divinity. I'm heaven's ambassador to this world. Everywhere I go, God goes, because I'm his living tabernacle, his home and headquarters. Hallelujah. For further study, please read 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 1 to 3, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 16, and 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read 1 John chapter 2, verses 15 to chapter 3 verses 1 to 10 and Ezekiel chapters 45 to 46. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Revelation chapter 5 verses 1 to 14 and Joel chapter 1. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. 
Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.